Reclassify Transactions is a tool in the Accountant Toolbox that is used to move transactions in batch from one account or class to another. This tool can be used when many transactions have been posted to the wrong account, causing financial information to be inaccurate. If you've changed your chart of accounts and set up sub-accounts to streamline your reporting, you can use this tool to reclassify the transactions into the correct sub-account. Also, use this tool to clean up large uncategorized expense accounts. You can reclassify accounts on non-item-based transactions, and you can reclassify classes on both item and non-item-based transactions. Let's take a look at the tool in action. When you open Reclassify Transactions, you can change the date range and default report basis that appear in the top left corner. The date range and default report basis are based on your settings in the Reports tool found in the same account and toolbox. You can always modify them there to change these defaults, or you can also change them on the individual Reclassify Transactions screen. You can review either profit and loss accounts or balance sheet accounts. As you scroll down the profit and loss, you see that miscellaneous expense for this quarter looks pretty high. Let's click on it for more information. There are several transactions posting to miscellaneous that should have gone to office expenses. Notice there are four from office supplies guys that should have gone to the account office expenses. Here's a tip to save time. You can filter by name. Here are all the Office Supplies Guys bills that went to miscellaneous, and now you can select specific ones one at a time, or all of them, by clicking here at the top of the checkbox column. At the bottom, check next to For All Selected Transactions, and change account to Office Expenses. If class tracking is turned on, you could also assign or reassign classes at this point. Then click Reclassify at the bottom. There are no more transactions in miscellaneous for this supplier during this date range. The transactions are now posted to the correct General Ledger account. Keep in mind that the reclassification of account or class using the Reclassify Transactions function does not change the GST-HST portion of the original transaction. If you need to change the allocation to sales tax, you won't use the Reclassify Transactions function Instead, you'll open each original transaction and edit it manually. Let's look over at the profit and loss and see the results of our reclassification. Here are all of our office expenses postings, including the Office Supplies Guys transactions we reclassified. Remember, you can only reclassify the account for transactions that are non-item based transactions. If the transaction is using an item, you need to open the transaction individually to choose a different item or edit the item itself to point to the correct general ledger account.